Bill O'Brien, what's going on with you? You sick or something, man? You're not feeling well. You traded a top three wide receiver in the game for off injured David Johnson in the draft pick. You traded a guy that caught 632 passes. 632 passes. I've only been in the league six or seven years. I don't get it. I don't understand it. What are you, um, penny pension to save a couple of dollars to sign Deshaun Watson? I know you got to pay him over the summer. I know that might run you $35 million a year. But you trade his best wide receiver, top three wide receiver in the game, to save a couple of dollars. Because that's the only reason... I can see, and I still can't see it, the trade the trade for David Johnson, who's not even going to start for your franchise. You have Duke Johnson, catch passes, and he can run the ball. You have a solid running back core, so I don't, I don't understand it. Why would you trade a top three wide receiver who loves playing there, who's good in the community, who loves his teammates, who's probably on his way to the Hall of Fame. He's in his prime. He's like 27, 28 years old. Why in the world would you trade that type of asset to Arizona for a draft pick and David Johnson, who's always hurt, who hasn't been productive in about a year and a half? Like I said, you got something going on with you? You sick? What? There's nobody in Houston, Texas who likes this trade? Heck, even some of the announcers, they're, they're a little shocked by the trade. Because it makes no sense. You got a star quarterback and, and you trade a star wide receiver who's in his prime and is young. Yeah, he makes a lot of money, but that, that's what comes with the territory. Great players get paid. So now you have what, Will Fuller? Fuller, who's always Bronco. heard at wide receiver, but, who, but he train. can get deep. Please watch the gap. He's a deep ball threat, but he's always hurt. So you're going to rely on him and maybe what, Kenny Steele? But the only reason, like I said, only reason I can see, only logical reason I can see for you trading a star wide receiver in his prime is for cap space. You think you just plug another wide receiver in there? He's going to catch 100 balls a year like DeAndre Hopkins. Never miss games. Tough over the middle. Is that easy? And I know this, it's a deep wide receiver draft, but it's, it's that easy to replace DeAndre Hopkins? And then you trade him for David Johnson. No disrespect. He, he was a real good pro football player, but the injuries have taken his toll on him. Makes, this makes no sense. None at all. They and their football teams. Pity pension. To save a top quarterback like Deshaun Watson. So you go ahead and get rid of DeAndre, DeAndre Hopkins. In his prime and young. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, uh, it's just mind-boggling. If I ask 100 people, no, 99 of them would not like this trade. Now, I'm sure you know your team better than I do, but DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson and a draft pick? It's a great, it's a great trade for Arizona. You want to match him up with Murray? Promising young quarterback? You got some other young talent on the team. It's a great trade for Arizona. I just don't get it. This Corner Sports Net, go ahead and subscribe, like, share. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. I, I just don't. This is ridiculous.